Seems like a lot of teams don't want no smoke with the Lakers. You know, I see a lot of teams. Because you got to – I'm not going to say it. Why? Just say it. Just say it. Say it. We on the podcast right now. Nope. Why I've you scared? I've said it before. I ain't saying it. Why are you scared, man? I, I wouldn't want to play the Lakers either. You kidding me? You see how them refs moving? Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Follow the socials because we post a lot on Instagram as well. Especially going to be reacting to the NBA playoffs. So definitely tune in to that. <sighs> if you're the Kings, who would you rather want to face? The Lakers or the Warriors? The Lakers. Why? They have worse coaching. Okay, that's fair. But and no one, the Warriors in the playoffs is. You still trust them on the road? Mm, that's a good question. No. So how? So you don't trust them on the road, but you still would want to play the Lakers when they're one of the hottest teams in the league. They've been one of the hottest teams in the league. See, I trust the Lakers to do more dumb stuff than the Warriors. So you trust Jordan Poole? You think Jordan Poole isn't isn't going to do I mean, anything he, dumb? He's he's battle tested. We he's seen the finals. Tested? We seen the finals. <laughs> well, he had like thirteen points, and that's and you and you call that great? I ain't say that was great. I said he's battle tested. Battle tested. Well, I'm looking at the regular season. He it's looking like how many that money getting to his head. This how many times have we seen this story over and over again? The Warriors they look in the regular season, they get to the playoffs and just turn up. Oh, I mean that, that's funny. You can't let them that's, trick you. So, so, so let me, so let me, because I remember um, before they won the championship in twenty twenty. The last time I seen the Lakers in the playoffs, AD was getting clamped by DeAndre Ayton. Actually, that's not true because he did have back to back like thirty point games and then he injured himself. Remember that? Mm. Remember that? Yeah. So let's not. Or was it LeBron? Shoot, I can't remember. Anywho. DeAndre Ayton was putting in work on somebody. He he was putting in work. He was cooking Anthony Davis. I ain't gonna lie, but Anthony Davis. He had like two like really great games. The Lakers, I think, may have been two and two or something like that. And Anthony Davis gets injured, and, this, and then the season was over. That's that's how it ended. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about the Warriors and the Kings out here. And I disagree with you. I think the Kings should want to play the Warriors because I think the Lakers are more talented. I think that the Lakers, from a defensive standpoint, I think they're better. Um, the Warriors, they have no size at all. Um, they desperately need Andrew Wiggins. That's number one. Without Andrew Wiggins, but they, they are getting Andrew Wiggins back, so that's a good thing. But they don't have enough. I don't think they have enough wing depth. I like Clay, but he's not the defender that he once was. And he's – he's how how has Clay been offensively? Because I feel like he's been okay. He's been – yeah, he's been up and down. So he's not as consistent as he once was. The Warriors are getting a bit older. I don't really trust their bench that much. I think their bench with Moody and with uh, Kaminga and um, – Who would even stepping up? Uh, just recently, but I, I can't I'm – not, I'm not sold. I have to see more of it and um, the rest of the guys. So I think the Warriors – I would rather play the Warriors. I think they're easier to defend than the Lakers. LeBron James coming down the court. Who the hell on the Kings can defend LeBron James? Who can defend Steph Curry on the on the on the Kings? You said who can defend Steph Curry on yes. the Kings? You can put Davion Mitchell on him. I know he's like kind of defensive guy. But like you could put Davion Mitchell on them. You could do a lot of different things. But the Kings are not known for the defense anyway. Their but defense is terrible. Actually, I know. I know. But their offense. But I think it'll be a lot harder because one, you have LeBron James coming down the court, and then you have Anthony Davis in the freaking paint. Like they don't have no shot blockers that can stop Anthony Davis. They'll have to probably double. You have Austin Reeves who can get his own shot. You have um D'Angelo Russell. Who can get his own shot? What was D'Angelo Russell's stat line last game? I don't. I don't remember. Uh -huh. I don't remember. But that's the Clippers. They they have a lot of guys that can do some things. But anywho, the, the Lakers have a lot of different options. Where with the Warriors, they're limited. Like Dante Divincenzo, he's uh, not really a guy you can really rely on. Um, obviously, you have Steph Clay. He can be hot and cold. Draymond, we already know he's not really an offensive guy. Jordan Poole, he's let me ah, Jordan Poole, he's hot and cold. Very hot and cold. Like I would let me ask you this. Take out LeBron and Steph. 
Let's look at the let's look at the lineups. Jordan Poole or Austin Reeves, who do you trust more? Jordan Poole or who? Austin Reeves, who do you trust more? Well, one is a foul merchant and one isn't, so I trust Jordan Poole. You're you're smoking crack. You know you are crazy. I don't trust ref baiters in the playoffs. I'm sorry. Okay, but Austin Reeves, even without the fouls, he's still a really nice player. I ain't even see. I ain't even know he was playing the last game. Yeah, I think he had twenty last game. Really? Yeah, he did. That was the quietest twenty points I've ever seen. Well, he is a role player, so I mean, it's gonna be kind of, it's gonna kind of quiet, <laughs> especially you getting. I notice when role players get their game off. But you really trust? You really trust Jordan Poole? Over I Austin see Reeves? one in the finals, and I and the other. Jordan, one you acted like Jordan Poole was putting up twenty five in the finals, putting up twenty. He was there. He made that's, big shots. That's it. He was just there. He, he was made just big there. shots. He stepped oh, up when oh he needed to. Oh my goodness, that is, that is hilarious, man. That is funny. That is just crazy, man. So you think this season, after what you've seen so far from Jordan Poole and Austin Reeves, that you would trust? Jo- okay, okay. The hundred and forty dollar, one hundred and forty dollar uh, million dollar man. You trust him? Okay. All right. Um, who else? D'Angelo Russell. I'm trying to compare uh, Anthony Davis or Clay Thompson. You trust more? Obviously, a Disney. <laughs> okay, you kidding that's, me? All right. Um, let me see who else is in the lineup. Uh, D'Angelo Russell or let me see here. Draymond. Who you trust more? <laughs> this is. <laughs> This is something. Um, yeah. D. Little bit sneaky. He stunk it up the last playoffs yeah. like bad. Yeah. At least Draymond, he's going to bring consistent defense, mm-hmm. but he ain't giving you no buckets. Mm-hmm. I trust Draymond. Trust Draymond. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. What about um, Jerry Vanderbilt or or um, Looney? Who you trust more? Looney. You trust Looney? Yeah. Okay, that's fair. All right. All right. Who who do you think has more firepower though between the Lakers and the Warriors? Who has more firepower? Without Steph and LeBron. Yeah, take take them out. Um, probably the Lakers. Yeah, they have a pretty deep roster. Okay, put LeBron and Steph in there. Who has more firepower? Still the Lakers. Oh oh, so you so you're telling me the Lakers have more firepower than the Warriors, but you rather would want to play the Lakers than the Warriors? You're insane. Uh, see, man, the Warriors like the boogeyman to me. I don't, I don't want to see them. In LeBron's the not the boogeyman. Yes, but thing is, here's the thing: he's more vincible now. He's more vincible. Yes. So Steph, LeBron, Steph's LeBron, not more LeBron. Before he ain't going a whole half, only scoring three points. Well, he, he, maybe so a few. You know what I'm saying? But he, I haven't seen him do nothing like that in a while. So Steph. Listen, if I listen, listen, if I got a bank on, here's here's what I'd rather bank on: LeBron having a great game, but a Disney disappearing. I'll take that nine times over, hoping everyone on the Warriors don't hit shots. So, isn't wouldn't that be the case for the Warriors as well, where Steph will go off, but Clay Thompson not show up, or Jordan Poole not show up? Isn't that possible as well? Yes, but. Eh. Think th- let me ask you this. How many times did that happen in the playoffs? Let, though, let me, last let, me year? Ask, let me ask you this. Between the Lakers and the Warriors, who is more capable of winning if their second option is not going? It's not getting it going. The Lakers or the Warriors? The Warriors? You're crazy. You're freaking crazy. What? What? You forgetting Andrew Wiggins is coming back. Oh, Andrew Wiggins is coming back. All right, yeah. Okay. Listen, we see what the Lakers look like when the second option ain't playing. It ain't good. Talking about Anthony Davis? Yes. Hmm. Anthony Davis. First of all, Anthony Davis should be the first option. <laughs> LeBron is what, about 40, 38? Good grief. How much work is he supposed to put in? Well, I mean, the Lakers did beat the Jazz when Anthony Davis wasn't really getting it going, so it's possible. I mean, guys it's stepping the jazz, up. It's the they jazz. didn't even have they ain't have Lori Marketing. It's the jazz. They didn't have who else? They ain't have like no real starters besides Colin Sexton out mm. there. Mm. Mm. All right, all right. That's how you feel. I mean, I disagree, but I think the Kings are making a, a big mistake. 
playing. Actually, you no, mean, they're making the right decision. They're making the right decision if they are sitting out their players. Hey, Boy, I ain't saying that. Why are you scared, man? I, I wouldn't want to play the Lakers either. You kidding me? You see how them refs moving? Mm -mm. You got to beat LeBron and the refs. I'm good. All right. All right. That's fair. Hopefully the calls in the playoffs aren't terrible across the league. Then why, then why would you want to play the Lakers over the Warriors if you're scared of the refs and LeBron getting all the calls? Hmm? You just said you don't. You just said I wouldn't want to play the Lakers either because because of the refs. Yeah. So, oh, so you said? Yeah, oh, I yeah. I got you. I got you. See? No. Look at you. It's a lose lose in my opinion. So, I've just seen the Warriors do some crazy. That last, that last run, last year, it made me a believer. But they were like a, a top two seed. They were, they were but, winning on the road. They had good habits. This team right here, bad habits. Question marks. Red flag everywhere. Yet, I still think they'll prevail. I ain't saying they're coming out the West now. That's insanity. I don't know who's coming. The Western Conference, this has been the worst Western Conference I've seen Probably in my life. The worst wrestling conference you've seen. Mm, interesting. I've, nah, I've seen worse. The Warrior years with Kevin Durant. Come on now. I mean. That was terrible. We already knew. We already knew. Like, that was just bad. The only team that. The Spurs was giving them bump until Kawhi got hurt. Yeah, but. The Rockets one, took them to seven. One, yeah. The, fir I'm, the first year where they had the Spurs, but no. Even if Kawhi was healthy, nobody had – no, no, they weren't going to win, bro. It would have been a good series, they, though. They weren't going to win. I, 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 at, at most, they'd probably get one more game. At most. They'd be lucky to get another game. But that series, that year, that first year with Kevin Durant was awful, completely awful. But um, you know what? You know what? What? Based on my previous logic on this podcast about the better dudes, the Lakers should be the favorites to come out in this um, playoff, come out the West. <laughs> they are the team with the most dudes. Okay. So, But you're not going to pick them, though. You know what? I'd rather play, if, if that's the case, based on my previous uh, sayings on this, I got. I, I'd rather. I'd rather play the Warriors. Oh. I'd rather play the Warriors. Okay. Just because of my previous statements on uh, previous episodes. Okay. I can't change the philosophy. The mm. team with the better dudes win. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. So, so coach coaching doesn't matter to you, huh? Oh, it definitely matters. It doesn't. Oh, so the coach. So, but coach thing is the the talent discrepancy between Sacramento and the Warriors is more even than Sacramento and the and, mm -hmm. and the Lakers. And the fact and the fact that Mike Brown, you know, former Warriors coach, he's. Be he was with the Warriors for a while, so he kind of knows some things. Mm -hmm. Makes more sense that they. Was he you, was he a defensive coach? Uh, I can't really say. I don't really or know. Was he just assistant? Yeah, he was an assistant coach. He was an assistant okay. coach, so he knows a lot more. 